What we can do is start by looking at the treadling in our draft at the bottom right. Find the filled in box at the bottom and follow it up to the tie-ups. Here, we see that I should be lifting shafts one and three. I'll lift those shafts, take my shuttle, so I'll find my floating salvage over here, go over it, and then under this second one here. Since I'm doing some samples, I'll leave a tail at that side. Lower those two shafts and use a beater to put that thread into place. At this point, it doesn't really matter where it is. I just do it so I have enough room to continue weaving and I'm not leaving too much empty space. So then the second part of the pattern will find the next row up on my treadling. Follow that up to the tie-ups and I should lift shafts two and four. Now I'll start on the side I previously ended on. Go over my first floating salvage and under the second. And then here at the edge, I snug my yarn against the selvage and leave an angle with that weft that is about 30 to 45 degrees. Lower those shafts and beat into place. Press it down right up against that last one. Now I go back to the bottom of my draft and I lift shafts one and three. Go over my first floating salvage, under the second. Leave my angle. And then lower the shafts and beat. The angle ensures that there is enough extra yarn in the shed for the over and under action. Otherwise, we may get draw in or coming in on the selvages. Lift shafts two and four. Over the first floating salvage and under the second one. And beat. Then shafts one and three. Some weavers like to lower the shafts to beat and some like to leave them raised. It really depends on your personal preference and you'll discover what works best for you. I tend to lower the shafts before I beat because I find it to be more comfortable. That is also the way I learned to weave, so I prefer that. Test each and see what you like. Now I'll lift shafts two and four again, over the first floating selvage and under the second one. If I forget which was my last pick, lift up one of those groupings and try to lift up on my excess yarn. If it doesn't come up easily, then that isn't the last pick you wove. I'll try the other one, which was lifting shafts two and four. And that one came up really easily, so I know that that was the last pick I wove. Then I can change my shed to the next pick and weave across. Over the first floating selvage and under the second. Leave an angle, snug the loop, and beat. And for a lot of people, on a loom like this, it makes it easier to remember where you are in the pattern if you are beating with the shafts raised. I know when I lower those shafts, I need to change to the next shed, and it's easy to tell what that last shed was. You can decide which makes more sense for you. 